wanted to do a simple run test on some different batteries. I used lithium ion batteries and uh, things like flashlights and stuff for years with these uh, 18650 type cells that are pretty common and big flashlights and higher powered uh, other things. But uh, I've never used them in a AAA before. Um, I've always used the standard type in a loop batteries or some variations of these Amazon basic uh, nickel metal hydride type batteries but there's a couple of companies like this XTAR that uh, make a lithium ion uh, AA battery and uh, they tend to run at a higher voltage the these new XTARs which there's a couple of versions of them there's an older one and then these newer ones that have been upgraded with a little better electronics in them and changed a few things in them. But uh, they have a little longer run time than the older ones do and perform a little better. And uh, I thought I'd try those in a, a just a run time type situation with a light that draws about, you know, sort of a medium usage draw on it. So these things usually get, you know, a few hours run time uh, with a pair using them in pairs with these regular AA nickel metal hydride batteries. But I wanted to see if I'd get any longer runtime with the lithium ion batteries, if it'd make a difference. They tend to be a little bit more expensive and they also need their own individual charger, which is a little different than what you use with these because they have to charge at a, a different voltage. Um, they have a charger like this, their L8 charger, which is one of their newer ones. Um, it's made to charge these one and a half volt batteries. It charges at a higher voltage and then the battery actually drops the voltage. Well, it actually charges at a higher voltage and it, the circuitry in the battery uh, converts it to a lower amp charge. And then when you have it in the, uh, have this in the uh, light, it converts it back coming out to 1.5 usable volts from these cells usually run at about three and a half volts. So it does a little bit of trickery in here as far as uh, converting the voltage back to make it run and be compatible with the normal AA battery. Used to older alkaline batteries ran at one and a half volts. Um, and a lot of older things like flashlights and stuff still do better with the higher voltages. So when you put a 1.2 volt in here, um, the light's a little bit dimmer. And if you use like these XTARs, the lithium ion that run at a higher voltage, 1.5 volt, um, they do a little better in flashlights. With these flashlights, uh, they pull a higher amperage also. So these can run at a, pretty much a steady two and a half volt well about two volts um, for a long period of time and then they just sort of stop they don't taper off like these type cells you'll they'll run in a flashlight for a while and then they gradually drop off whereas this will keep running at the full strong voltage uh, all the way to the end of the cycle with it and so it, it'll make a flash like this a little bit brighter when you use them and I just want to test it and see what the runtime is. So if these actually will give me a longer runtime than a standard cell, it's going to be worth using in something like this. If you uh, use it for photo shoots, video, that sort of thing, or just use it for a, uh, working on a car or a long-term project, you might be better off with a battery like this that gives you a longer runtime. In certain situations, it'll be brighter than these uh, regular AA batteries. The chargers that you usually have to buy with these or come with them if you buy them in the sets um, will still charge the standard 1.2 volt batteries. So you can you have to use these batteries in a 1.5 volt lithium ion charger like this, but you can still throw these cells in here and charge them along with the XTAR batteries while you're charging it. So it's kind of nice to have this. Um, and these batteries also charge quicker in this, whereas this these type cells, especially the uh, extended cells like these Amazon here, these are 2400 uh, 
milliamp hour battery versus the 2000 milliamp hour batteries in the uh, antelopes. Um, these can take, you know, five, six hours to charge where uh, this charger will, will charge this up to full capacity in around two and a half hours or so, um, which is pretty quick compared to these. So you can get, get them recharged and use them again faster and uh, the higher output makes a big difference. But what I'm going to do is just uh, run these in here and, and be able to see the difference in how, how the runtime is. Um, these cells are more comparable to the Amazon Basic Extended. Um, they have uh, like a 2,500 milliamp hour uh, capacity in them, whereas the Amazon Basics have a 2,400 uh, milliamp hour capacity and the uh, old standard envelope, they're a uh, 2,000 milliamp hour capacity. So I'm going to start the test here and then I'll give you the final results at the end. Now I'm going to test out the uh, Interloop batteries. Those are sort of the tested and respected uh, batteries that's been around for years and years and I'm going to compare them to the others. See what kind of runtime we get out of this and see if, how it matches up against the others. A little bit past three hours and 30 minutes, the Interloop batteries are look like they're starting to fade some. Might not have too much time left in them. Let's see. Now the light kicked back on bright again for a second. It's dimming out and then it'll cut off and it's off all the way at three hours, 43 minutes. Now I'm going to test out the uh, Amazon Basics. Uh, these are the they're 2400 milliamp hour batteries, nickel metal hydride version. Uh, these are one of the most commonly sold batteries on Amazon, so we'll see how these compare to the others. on high well at uh, four hours and 17 minutes the uh, Amazon uh, basics extended batteries they ended up uh, conking out so got a four hour and 17 minute runtime with the Amazon basic extended I'm going to test the new XTAR batteries. These are their AA um, lithium ion version. These are a 1.5 volt. I'm going to check the run time in the light with these and see what we get. Turn it on high. Still going strong at three hours and almost 50 minutes. I'll check again here later. The light just completely shut down at the six hour and 10 marks using the uh, XTAR batteries. It went from just being dim at about six hour mark to uh, just 10 minutes later, it just completely shut down on it, so it's not running at all. So we got a 6 hour and 10 minute limit on the XTAR batteries, and they ran at full power all the way up until the 6 hour mark. So that's probably twice as long as I thought they were going to work, so I'm really shocked, to tell you the truth. Didn't really know what to uh, expect in the end and the run time with these, but... Uh, if you really go back and look at um, the capacities of the batteries, uh, what they're capable of, what they can do, uh, it probably should have been more expected for me to get for these run times. With the uh, in loops, which pretty much everybody knows, the original Panasonic uh, batteries that uh, were the first go-to, 
the nickel metal hydride rechargeable ones. Um, you got a three hour, 43 minute runtime with this LED light. Uh, the Amazon Basics were the extended and they had a 2400 milliamp hour versus 2000 milliamp hour. And that, but it didn't get us that much more runtime with it. You went from 343 with these to four hours and 17 minutes with the Amazons. And then the XTARs, the lithium ion batteries, um, they definitely performed the best. Uh, it came in with these with a six hour and uh, 10 minute runtime. Uh, they were rated at uh, 2,500 milliamp hours on them. So, you know, if they were the same type uh, of a battery, then you would expect these to be just barely more, but not much more with them. But with them being lithium ion batteries, uh, the cells got a, a good bit longer runtime. So six hours and 10 minutes, that's a pretty long time in a light like this with it. Um, sort of pluses and minuses to going with the lithium ion battery. Uh, they tend to last a little bit longer than um, some batteries do, especially the Amazon Basics. Uh, they give you an estimated cycle time of how many times you can use these batteries. Uh, the envelopes, uh, they say you can recharge those 2,000 times. Um, I've had some pairs of these over the years, some different sets, and I never got quite close to 2,000 as far as you know cycles recharging them. Um, they did hang around for a long time, but um, that's real optimistic number of recharges, 2,000. The Amazon ones, they actually are only rated at 400 recharge cycles before they start losing capacity and start going downhill. And that sounds like an appropriate number of times for these. Um, if you got a thousand out of these, um, you'd probably be lucky with them. Um, and if you treated them even at the best, I don't know where they came up with the 2000 uh, charges on them, but I never came close to getting that many with them. Um, with the X TARS, you got sort of in between. You're looking at, they expect around 1200. Uh, cycles with them. I haven't had them long enough to see that. I basically ran. These had about 10 cycles through them, so they had enough recharges to uh, probably get, you know, what you can expect out of them from then on. It takes a few recycles in some of these cells before they get to their maximum uh, capacity holding ability. Uh, these I ran through about four times. So it should have been enough charges and discharges to uh, for this test results to come back with a, an accurate test with them. So these are probably the most expensive of the batteries. Um, they can be about three-fourths more, um, even double, depending on where you buy them and, and uh how many you buy if you buy it in a set. Uh, if you just buy them by themselves, they tend to be a uh, more expensive proposition. Whereas if you buy it in the charger packs like these, if you get an eight charger and get either four or eight cells in them, it's a little bit better value. If you just buy the charger by itself, it's going to be fairly expensive just by the cells by themselves. So I really recommend getting them together and you only end up paying like five to ten dollars more for the full set um, versus just the charger by itself so it's it's worth buying them in the the multi-packs with the charger if you're going to go this way because you have to use a uh, lithium ion specific charger you can't get away with your old type chargers but the benefit of that is you're getting an eight charger that you can just use it all the time and work with your lithium ion cells and your older nickel metal hydride batteries it can be charged in this also and it uses a USB C type charger so you can um, use this in a car charger you can use it in a, uh, a battery pack to recharge it with you uh, if you got a bigger battery pack you can just 
carry that and have these charging like if you go camping that sort of thing and carry a, a bigger uh, battery source then you can be able to use it to recharge these with it being USB-C instead of using a wall outlet only with it so pretty good value with this um, I really like the charger being able to charge the battery so much faster and you know probably half the time that you do the Amazon batteries with a normal charger with it the runtime was quite a bit longer also uh, for these XTAR batteries so I was pleased with that uh, sort of have to wait and see on the longevity of them uh, most of the products are pretty good I've had the XTAR chargers for years and years that I've used with the uh, lithium-ion bigger cells so they're pretty reputable company as far as doing the charging on that type of thing um, also one thing is nice about these cells when you have them plugged in they have a little light indicator light on here that'll tell you when they're fully charged so whether you're charging it in the XTAR charger or another um, the cell will light up uh, it'll flash when it's not charged all the way and then it'll light up solid when it's completely charged so that that's a nice indicator to uh, tell you when you're through with the cycle with them but as far as main purpose of this was just seeing how long they would run a, uh, a light like this and, uh, and that results these came out on top by a good bit so nice trying them out uh, if this helped you out at all making a decision on whether you want to go with this type of battery I'll put uh, links to the battery and charger for these X tars and also the Amazon and Enelopes uh, in the description below and you can sort of make the choice for yourself which way you want to go but please with them so far I'll make some videos in the future uh, sort of explaining something about the charger a little bit more and these batteries and uh, get an idea how they're working once I get um, you know another 20 or three 30 uses out of them and see if we're still getting the same sort of capacity and runtime as we got out of them in this initial start so uh, thanks for watching please subscribe